Hello students, welcome to Integrated Science. In this video, I'll take you on a tour of the course. Here when you enter the course, you always see this home page. The home page has two pieces of information on it that you can get in other ways. It has your recent announcements. Um, I make announcements every week about the schedule, sometimes about the assignments that are due, and there's always some fun video per week um, just to get you interested in the topic. So check your announcements. That's the like most uh, time sensitive information. If the question arises, I'll answer it there if it seems really important. Um, okay, now this is the welcome page for the wiki. These pages, we'll look at these in just a sec. Um, and this one's just showing you what I want you to do on the first day of class. So I want you to click into every page and read it. See how the pages are connected. Um, introduce yourself in the student introduction discussion and ask me any questions or tell me about any absences that you have when you introduce yourself. Now, let's go over here to where the announcements are shown in full view. Now, this, it's just showing one because that's the only one that I've released, but as the semester goes on, there will be lots and lots of archived announcements here. In the syllabus here, we have a table of our schedule. And then the entire syllabus is also um, copied here on this page. Please read that. Now, let's just go to pages because we were looking at that home page. There's that message. But look, we have pages for the units and we have pages about our assignments. So let's go here to modules and take a look at that. Um, so notice that this is set up in modules and it's not exactly, it is chronological, my apologies. Um, and you'll see that on certain assignments I have the dates here to cue you in on when those are due. Um, and every unit you're going to read. You can prepare notes, so if you keep annotated notes of your reading, you can apply up to seven points here to your quizzes. We have discussions, portfolio artifacts, and we'll look at this. Okay, so we don't have a textbook for this class. We're using two different open source textbooks. One's chemistry, one's physics. So here are the links, and here are the sections that I want you to read, okay? And here are the labs that go with those readings. So notice that I don't want you to read all of every chapter listed here. So you really need to pay close attention to this page for each unit. And I tried to link it throughout the course in as many places as possible. Um, this is your quiz. I haven't written the quiz yet because when we participate in discussions, you are building a wiki. You're building a study guide, basically. Um, and I try to craft the quizzes so that they reflect the topics that we actually covered because these are very, very large topics that we'll be addressing this um, semester and I don't expect that you would know every detail of every topic. So let's focus in on what you report back into the discussion will be what is reflected in the quizzes, those concepts. Okay, going back here, let's talk about this portfolio. So every unit, you have to submit one portfolio artifact. Notice that each one is only 20 points. Um, together, they make 120 points. It's a big part of your grade together, but per unit, it really is simply your, uh, your homework of your own design. So what is a portfolio? Here's one of these pages. Oops, I'm in student view. Uh, right here. There are two pages about the portfolio resources. So this is all the rubrics, okay? You can write a lesson plan, which is common for this class because a lot of people are education majors. You can write an essay, poster labeling, or presentation, or you can go on a field trip. And the rubrics are all very similar. You need to key into the learning outcomes um, and you know really explore the things that are interesting to you. If you want a little Q&A on what a portfolio is, check out this link here. 
where I've talked with various students about what it is that they need to do and what they don't need to do. Okay? I think that's everything. Not too many bells and whistles. The last thing to talk about is um, the labs. And we are using, oops, we are using um, a lab manual that you should have purchased. And you should purchase it right away. It comes right away. It's just an electronic document. Um, so you don't need to wait for it to be mailed to you. Um, but there are labs that are due for every week as well. Okay, let me know if you have questions. Thanks. And my last request is that you leave a message in the YouTube channel showing me that you watch this. Just say hi. Thanks.